Okay, so this is my review for Freedom is a Constant Struggle by Angela Y. Davis. I'm recovering from top surgery, and I still have drains in, so excuse how I look or if I get, like, itchy or something. Anyway, synopsis in this, or in these newly collected essays, interviews, and speeches, world-renowned activist and scholar Angela Y. Davis illuminates the connections between struggles against state violence and oppression throughout history and around the world, reflecting on the importance of black feminism, intersectionality, and prison abolitionism. For today's struggles, Davis discusses the legacies of previous liberation struggles, from the Black Freedom Movement to the South African Anti-Apartheid Movement. She highlights connections and analyzes today's struggles against state terror, terror, <coughs> terror from Ferguson to Palestine. Facing a world of outrageous injustice, Davis challenges us to imagine and build the movement for human liberation, and in doing so, she reminds us that freedom is a constant struggle. I think I mentioned I read this via Hoopla, since I don't have it to show. It's a wonderful and thought-provoking interviews and essays about things like Ferguson, Palestine, prison abolitionism, black feminism, LGBT plus and trans rights, etc. I learned so much from this. Until a few months ago, I knew nothing about Palestine, and this was published in 2015, and it's said that we are still dealing with so much bullshit it mentions almost a decade later. Of course, we've been dealing with all this stuff a lot longer than a decade. If anything, this is more relevant than the day it was published, which is horrifying. I clearly have a lot more reading to do, and I gave it five stars. It's always kind of hard to know what to say about some books, but I highly recommend it. Really glad I read it, and I learned a lot from it. But also, it's horrifying that it's even more relevant than the day it was written.